Today we're going to answer every question about travel mugs that you didn't know that you had. So welcome to Kabeen's Coffee Corner. This channel is designed to help you choose the coffee gear you want to brew with at home. If you could please like and subscribe, that would be much appreciative and it would help my channel grow and get this video out to more people. If you're looking at purchasing one of these, please use the links below. I'll make a small commission at no extra charge to you. Lastly, I have an Instagram account called Kabeen's Coffee Corner. You're more than welcome to follow me there as well. There are a few of these mugs that were sent to me for free from the manufacturer and I want to give a disclosure on that, that nothing that was sent to me for free has anything biased toward it. I will give you an honest review of any of those. Uh, nobody sees these videos before they're released, so I have full freedom to say what I want to say on these. Um, so that being said, I bought some of them with my money and others I got sent to me for free. So there's a few things when coming to travel thermoses that you want to think through is size, leak proof, and overall use. Um, so I want to go through a few of the ones that I like the least starting off with, which is probably these 14-ounce um, Yeti mugs. They're just too big. They don't fit in cup holders. This might be a great desk um, cup, but other than that, I don't find it very useful for my usage of that. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of that. Um, the next thing I want to do is I want to switch over and I want to go into the 8 ounce mugs here. Uh, the 8 ounce mugs I use for cappuccinos or I use for shots of espresso and I have four of them here and one of a couple of these can be switched in different sizes. Um, so I have the Husky Cup, the Fellow Carter Move and um, the Mer cup. I don't know what it's actually called, but I'll link it below. And then I have a Stanley cup. All of these are eight ounces. Um, the, these three, I believe you can get in other sizes as well. Um, so one of the things that I don't like about the Carter is it doesn't fit in my cup holder. We'll get more into that. The Husky cup, I really like the feel of it. It's made out of Husky, out of um, the coffee husk. Uh, it doesn't keep it very hot very long, but for a small drink, I don't find the need to it. But it's very, very comfortable in hand. It's held up well. It's plastic. It's not going to break. It's not going to scratch. It's not going to ding up. Um, and it's held up really well over a few years of use. The Stanley is leak-proof, which is nice. But honestly, I find myself never really using this, even though there's nothing wrong with this. It's got stainless steel on the inside. Leak-proof when you remove this lid with a little handle, which is nice. And then... It's a very, very comfortable to drink through because of how recessed it is. It just does sit up a little bit higher than some of the other 8 ounce ones. Not that that's a big deal, but it is what it is on that. Um, so I'm actually going to remove this from the listing. The mirror, I, it's a great mug. I find myself picking up probably the Husky Cup more. Um, I like drinking a straight shot of espresso out of this, but I like drinking a cappuccino out of this. But if I would choose one, I would get rid of the mirror and I would go toward the Husky Cup. Uh, just because the Husky Cup is unique, you can feel the warmth of the beverage, and I don't feel like I ever really need it to stay hot very long. Um, so that's why I would choose the Husky Cup. I'm removing the Carter one out of this for now because I have another Carter ones that I'm going to review and compare. So Husky Cup is my number one go-to for 8-ounce ones um, just because of the feel of it. Uh, I don't need it to be leak-proof. It's comfortable to drink from, and it just looks cool, and it's a unique cup that you won't really see around at other people with other people. Uh, when it comes to ice drinks, um, I typically prefer a 16 ounce cup. Um, however, I do find 12 to be okay. I just like to put a little bit extra ice in like an ice latte per se. So I wanna move on to a couple different cups that I have in order for my iced beverages. And this is what I typically go for for those. There's a lot, sorry. Um, yep. Yeah, these are all iced. Um, uh, ice is typically what I find myself going to. I don't like drinking hot beverages out of uh, cups, but I'll explain which ones I would choose for which version. So with the, if you're looking at ice, I, I chose all of these because you can get them. They're either currently 16 ounces as they sit or they're 12, which will work, and you can buy the cup in 16 ounces. So I really like the Yeti in the sense of I like the mag slider on the top of it so it has this splash guard here um, so you can kind of close it. It's comfortable to drink from, it's heavy duty, it's not going to break. Um, however, when it comes to any other beverage, I don't like the Yeti. So that's why I would almost remove it from this because I would like a cup that's more versatile so I don't have to have seven of the same ones. So the Yeti is completely out, although it is a good mug and I'm not trashing Yeti on that because it is a pretty widely known mug on that. Um, my favorite one for like at home is the Stanley pint glass. Um, it's not really meant for coffee, but I find it just the perfect glass for almost everything at home. I travel with it too, um, even though it 
doesn't have a lid on it, but it just works great and I like it a lot. So this is probably one of my favorite mugs um, that I own. The Mir 360 mug. Um, this mug is a nice mug. Um, it's leak proof. I trust it and it's leak proof. It's sleek in your hand. Um, I believe this one's 16 ounce. Yep, this is a 16 ounce one. Um, the thing I don't like about it is the lid. The lid kind of has a little line on the inside of it to let you know if it's opened or closed. In other words, if the press the button press on it is up high, it's closed. If it's down, it's open, but it's very, very confusing to kind of tell on that. Um, it is nice that you can drink from any side of the cup, but honestly, it's not that big of a feature to me. Um, I like it, I just wish it would have given me more of an indication of where it was at on uh, open or closed. Um, so I kind of have a struggle with that. Um, however, it does beat out uh, this mug, which is the 360 lid mug from Fellow, because the 360 lid mug from Fellow is not um, leak proof. Um, but still, not my favorite mug on here. Um, this is the Stanley Trigger mug. And this has been my go-to mug for so many different things over the course of the years. It's just built well. It's easy to use. It has this really unique feature that I can't believe is not on any other coffee mug. And it has a button where you can drink from it one-handed. And when you click it up, it's leak-proof. I do drink hot like lattes from this or ice beverages from this. It works out really well outside of one thing on it, which is the cleaning feature. Um, it can get like a lot of stuff built on it and it doesn't smell the greatest from that uh, kind of thing. So one of the things that you gotta think through is um, how it cleans. Uh, the next one is the Stoke mug. I don't know what it is on top of that. Uh, f uh, Stoke did send me this for free. Um, this is a unique one as it's ceramic and coated on the inside, uh, meaning that it is uh, kind of has the same uh, ceramic coating like that you'd see on a cup, like a ceramic cup, so you don't get the stainless steel flavors out of it. The lid itself is a pretty simple design lid, which makes it pretty easy to clean. Um, you flip up the lid, and it's uh, leak proof. You shut it, and it's, or you shut it, it's leak proof. Um, you open it, obviously you can drink from it. Uh, it does get a little bit of residue on top of the lid here, which you gotta kind of like lick off um, so it doesn't get on your nose while you drink. So that's kind of a hang up on that feature. However, it has a silicone bottom on it. So when you set it down there versus set it down the Stanley, um, quite a bit difference of a noise on that, um, which makes me love the stoked one. Uh, I wish you could open it one handed. Uh, I love the feel of the stoked one, um, but I wish you could do it one handed like the Stanley. Uh, so it makes it kind of hard to choose from these two. Uh, the next one is the slide lock lid of the Fellow. I would choose this if it fit in the cup holder and if you could open one handed. Um, this has a ceramic coating on the inside and a nice thin lip to drink from uh, without it. But it is still probably one of my favorite mugs of all around mugs that I have. Uh, which makes this video incredibly difficult. Um, so I'm just going to kind of remove, like, move some of these up here. We're going to come back to them in just a second. Um, I forgot about this mug. This one is the Clean Canteen mug that comes with a couple different lids. Um, so we have um, a leak-proof lid here, and then we have a turning knob lid here to keep a splash thing. This one's 12 ounces. This one I probably should get rid of because I don't really use it very often, um, but it is nice to have full confidence when you throw it in a bag that it is completely leak-proof. But I just don't use it. This mug is old, um, probably eight years old, and it's just not near as nice as some of the mugs uh, that have came out since. So that one gets removed. Um, we have the Camp Mug by Mir. Uh, this is probably, if you're choosing a Camp Mug, I would recommend the one by Mir. It's just really nice. It feels well built. Um, this is probably the one if I'm like, actually, it's a Camp Mug. I don't use Camp Mugs very well. But this is a nice mug. Um, so if you're looking for a Camp Mug, choose the one by Mir. That's the one to go to. Way better than the Yeti. But still... Camp mugs aren't my personal thing. Moving on to the fellow lineup. The fellow lineup, there's four fellows in here. We have the fellow move, or we have the fellow Carter, which comes with this little bag. It's 12 ounces here, or 16 ounces, and it, um, you have to unscrew the lid to drink from. So this is like basically, you're traveling somewhere, you're sitting down, or sitting at home, you want a warm cup of coffee, but you can remove the lid, this is the one to go to. So it's like, you're traveling to work and you're gonna drink your coffee at work and not in the car. This is the one to go to. Um, but 
because of how non-versatile it is, I wouldn't choose it. Even though I really do like this mug, I think there's just a better way to go. But it has a very just nice um, width to it to hold in your hand that feels like a traditional coffee cup, even though it's insulated. It has the ceramic coating just like the other Fellows. So with the Fellows, there are three Fellow Move mugs. There's the original one, the 360 mug, the slide lock lid. The 360 mug, in my opinion, is kind of worthless. By the way, Fellow sent me all of these for free. Um, well, two of, the, two of these for free. These two for free. Um, they did not send... I don't know. They sent me this one for free and the slide lock lid for free. The 360 mug is my least favorite. It pushes against your nose. It doesn't feel comfortable when you drink from. And it's not leak proof. I don't really understand the lid a ton. So I'm going to completely get rid of that one. Because um, it's not what I would recommend. Out of fellow mugs, I would choose the slide lock lid. Because it is leak proof. But I wouldn't fully trust it. Um, but it's comfortable to drink from for the most part. This kind, The lid kind of gets in the way of your nose. It has the nice thin lip to drink from. So in other words, I would choose this mug over the original Fellow because you could still kind of do that traditional, I'm going to drink from it and it still feels pretty comfortable. Not as great as the original Fellow, but it does move it down to one mug that you could sip while in the car. It doesn't fit in my car cup holder, but it fits in a lot of other cup, car cup holders. The next one is the... Um, fellow move mug it has a leak proof lid you unscrew this and it has a splash guard here so it basically helps you be able to walk or drive and drink coffee versus the fellow move original mug does not kind of allow that because it would splash while you're walking um, so overall if you're choosing a fellow one i would choose whatever size you prefer 16 8 or uh, 12 ounce and i would get the slide lock lid but i would also get the other lid with it so i'd buy two I'd buy an extra lid, which you can do. You don't have to buy two mugs for it. And the reason why I would do that is because if I'm traveling and I need it to be leak-proof, I don't fully trust the slide lock lid, even though it is leak-proof. Um, but I would trust this lid because it just seals completely. I have no concern if I threw this in my camera bag or with a bunch of other stuff, I wouldn't be concerned about it spilling everywhere. So I would choose to buy both of these lids to kind of give me a more versatile thing with limited options here. Okay, so we got quite a few um, cups here. I'm gonna just pretend this one doesn't exist. Pretend I'm just gonna put this lid next to it. This is one thermos for me. Both lids, um, that's what I'm gonna consider as one thermos. So we have quite a few options here. Um, obviously this one's probably the least practical, um, probably my favorite and least practical all at once for ice beverages uh, because it doesn't have a lid. So if, you're, if you want a cup to drink everything from at home, this is kind of my go-to, uh, but this is a travel mug thing. So this is when it gets nitpicky. We're looking at cleaning, we're looking at taste, we're looking at function and we're looking at, um, we're just going to look at everything. So ideally for me, you want something that you can travel with that is leak proof. So in case you put it on the side of your bag, it won't be spilling the excess liquid or in a sense ice. If you do put ice in there and it melts throughout the day, it's not going to get everywhere, which kind of makes me have to remove the Husky cup from this, even though it is a nice mug. If you're not looking for leak proof, the Husky cup is a good option, but we're like looking for versatile here. Um, the Stanley is a great mug, but when you put like hot black coffee in it, it just doesn't taste the greatest. You get the stainless steel, which is where the ceramic coating really comes into play and why I think it's important for this video. Um, so we're looking at two different mugs here and uh, we have the fellow Carter with the two lids, um, the slide lock lid and the leak proof lid. And then we have the Stoke cup, which I didn't say much about through this video. Both of these were sent to me for free, which is Interesting that those were the two that I happened to pick. I did not plan that that way. Um, I did buy this one at least, so that counts. And I did trash the other one that I don't like with the 360 lid that's just terrible that you should not buy. Um, so I got it narrowed down to two. Um, so both of these are okay to drink from. They both kind of hit your nose. So the fellow one kind of just hits your nose when you drink, but it's not bad. The um, Stoke one when you drink from it, it it doesn't feel terrible, but if you have any residue liquid on the lid, it will get on your face, which is a con. So you just have to like lick it, which is kind of weird. 
um, but it does get the job done. Both of them are ceramic. Um, this one has the quiet bass when you set it down. Um, it still obviously makes noise, but not near as bad as that, and you don't have to worry about it. Both of these are expensive. Um, I think this one's 45 I think this one's $30, um, but plus the lid is about $40, um, give or take. Uh, so here's where I would put my answer and why I would buy one over the other for the ultimate travel mug. And I would purchase the Stoke for one key reason. Um, even though this kind of gives you the nice feel of drinking from it without a lid, it still feels good to drink the Stoke without a lid. It feels great in your hand. It kind of slides in there and doesn't fall. But the number one feature I would do is cleaning purposes. The Fellow is a good mug, but in the cleaning purposes, you have the stainless steel, steel thing, and you can't get underneath of it very well. The ceramic coat, the ceramic on the inside has this weird coating and on it, which isn't necessarily bad, but the lid has all of these crevices on it, which gets milk and residue in it and problematic stuff on it, um, and it's just very not great. The Stoke one has a pretty simple straight to forward lid there's crevices in here but it's not hard to get crevices and it's not crevices you can't see so it's kind of important to know like whether your cup has mold in it whether it has um, old residue in it to really really get that clean and that's why i picked the stoke because you can comfortably drink from it without a lid if you don't want the lid um, you can have the full leak proof which i feel like i do actually trust this leak proof um, I might not throw it inside of a backpack, but I would definitely trust it not spilling if I threw it on my car seat um, with the lid closed as long as you make sure it's clamped down. It does provide a different lid that has a sliding mechanism, which hopefully maybe they'll send me. Um, I'm going to ask for it because I want to review more of their products. But if I could choose one mug out of everything, I would choose either the Stoke... 12 ounce or 16 ounce. Um, and that just kind of depends on your personal preferences on whether or not you want the um, a bigger capacity. I believe they do have an 8 ounce, which might be like the perfect trio of cups. Um, 8 ounce for smaller drinks, 12 ounce for whatever you want that's 12 ounces, and then 16 ounces for iced beverages. So basically, I add 4 ounces of ice to like a normal kind of latte which means a 12 ounce latte turns into 16 ounces um, but I can just cut the ice a little bit or cut the milk a little bit and it'll be fine in a 12 ounce cup but if I had to just basically get rid of every single mug that I have and only choose one I would choose the Stoke because it kind of fits everything it's not the perfect mug I still think the lid could be a little bit better but it at least um, feels well in your hand. It feels well built. I think it'll hold up. It has a ceramic coating, which means I would actually drink hot black coffee out of this and it does taste fine and you don't get that weird stainless steel thing. I just, I don't know. I love the soft bottom. Yeah, so that's what it is. Stoke, that's my number one recommendation of coffee mug. It's one that's been out for years, but it's one that I've never really put, put my eyes on and never thought to buy. It's expensive at $45, but I think it's worth every single penny. And I honestly think that if I lost this mug or I broke this mug, I would go out and buy another one because I'm that thrilled with it. Um, so if you find this pretty helpful, if you're looking at purchasing any of these, please use the link below. And again, Stoke did send me this, but they do not have any um, say on that. They reached out to me for this and I'm like, okay, I'll take another mug. Um, so that is what it is. Again, please like and subscribe and thank you so much for watching.